Hey YouTube, my name is Natalie. I'm a criminal defense attorney. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Um, so today's video is going to be a reaction to a video Irish Demon uploaded last week. His video is called Entitled Karen Gets Window Smashed by Police. Um, he asked for me to react to this video. Um, if you guys are aware, earlier this week I appeared on Irish Demon's channel and it was like a monster stream with um myself irish demon uh mike um law talk with mike Artie, um and i think schrodinger hopped on there and we may have gotten deborah davis about i think that's i did so many streams this week and i think we got deborah davis but anyway without further ado here's my reaction to this video i specifically did not watch this because i didn't want to you know prejudge i just want to react to it and see what happens so let's go back with another video today we got this young karen who gets pulled over by police and refuses to open the door now cars are pretty strong but they have got one noticeable weak point you might might not know what it is but this Karen is about to find out and I'm sorry to tell you Karen but this is one mess your daddy is not going to be able to get you out of no matter how much you cry and talking about glasses this is one glass you will not want to break check out my new Irish demon pint glasses in the description down below they're really cheap and really cool Okay, well, <laughs> first of all, the, the officer says, get out of the car. And she's like, no, it's not an option. Um, officers can't ask for people to get out of the car on a traffic stop. Um, that's well-established law at this point in time. Um, and even if you think that the traffic stop itself is not legal, you fight about that in court later. Don't fight about it with the officer on the side of the road. But we haven't seen the reason for the stop, so I'd like to know that. I always like to know the reason for the stop first. The door. Ma'am, I'm not going to ask you again. You okay, well, I'm a police officer. Okay, you, you went the wrong way down a one-way street. Uh-oh. The wrong way down a one-way street is not good. <laughs> That's definitely reasonable, articulable suspicion for a stop. That's a safety issue, if anything. So he definitely has a lawful traffic stop, and he can remove her from the vehicle. Um, the reason that courts give, the Supreme Court gave, for why people can be removed from the vehicle during a traffic stop is for the officer's safety um, because they don't have, they can't see what they're reaching to. They could be reaching for a weapon or something like that. So for the safety of the officer, they can remove the person. You can't do just blanket anything you want for officer safety, but that's one of the things they can do. You don't have a seatbelt on. I'm allowed under, I'm allowed under, state, uh, under federal case law to remove you from the vehicle. And have you ever seen my car? Yeah. Oh, I just got off work. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma now, it doesn't matter how many streets she lives down the road, in my opinion. Like, it totally does not matter. What's most important here is that um, you don't get to negotiate this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had cases in which my client was stopped for, like, a totally BS reason. But you just are not in a position to negotiate with the police officer. And being stopped for going the wrong way down the street is a valid traffic stop and as the officer said and as i said federal case law supports that you have to get out the car if told to do so please okay i'm going to break your window and so this is failure to follow a reasonable and lawful order by a law enforcement officer um and so he can use force now in order to get her out of the vehicle drag you out of the car i'm legally allowed to do that ma'am I'm asking you to step out of the, no, the car. Oh. I'm on to you. Let me get your driver's license proof of insurance. Okay. Who are you calling? Who are you calling? As a matter of fact, they've already given her too much grace because they told her to get out of the car. She refused. Many other people would have been dragged out of the car by now. Um, I'm not advocating for people to be dragged out of the car. I don't like to see people having physical altercations with police. I prefer to avoid that. But whoever she's calling, it's certainly not in keeping with you're getting your license and registration. 
Can you open it? Can you open oh, I need your driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am. Damn, I'm scared. I need your driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am. Driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am. This is completely, her behavior is outrageous at this point. She's completely ignoring them and just doing things her own way. I don't know what she thinks this is. You're in a real life situation right now. <laughs> you are putting yourself in absolute danger. Please tune in to what's happening and get off the phone. Oh, girl. I need your driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am. You're gonna be placed under arrest for obstruction. Yeah. it's different in different states so in their states they call it obstruction in my state they have obstructing and hindering but the more and the more appropriate charge in this situation would be failure to obey a reasonable and lawful order uh because for us for obstructing it would have to be that they weren't actually able to complete the task that they set out to do, the lawful obligation that they set out to do, they're going to be able to, they're gonna be able to arrest her whether or not she agrees or not. So this wouldn't be obstructing in my state, but it may be in their state. Ma'am, I'm going to break your window and I'm going to pull you out of the vehicle and I don't wanna do that. He's given her plenty of warning. Everything he does here is gonna be in accordance with the law and whatever happens to her, the property damage, whatever it is, will be found to be in accordance with the law because she's had plenty of opportunity to desist from her behavior and comply. And then you'll be under arrest and you will go to county jail. Mm. Do you understand? This passive aggressive thing, it's not gonna work. Females refusing to get out of the car. Roll the window down. This is not your traffic stop. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to break your window. You're not in school. You know, you don't get to wait for it in the principal's office for daddy to show up. You have to follow the orders of the police officer. You really don't have any choice here. Open the door. Oh my God. Open the door, ma'am. Please. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice. Open the door. Oh. You're under arrest, ma'am. You step out of the vehicle. You step out of the vehicle immediately, ma'am. You're under arrest. Ma'am, you're under arrest. Step out of the vehicle. What did I do? Please don't hurt me. You're under arrest, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. You're under arrest, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. You're under arrest, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. I gave you multiple, multiple warnings, and you did not comply with my orders. You can't apologize for your poor mistakes at this point. What does it matter that you just got off of work? That's everybody at the end of the day. Everyone's getting off of work or going to work at some point in time during the week. And for some people, even on the weekends, like what do you think makes you so special that everyone else has to follow the rules, but you don't? Comply with my orders. You can't apologize for your poor mistakes at this point. I understand it. I live four straight Okay, so what's your, where's your driver's license? Where's your proof of insurance? And why would you provide it to you? Okay, well, your dad can see you in handcuffs in the back seat of my car. No, I will not. What's your name? It's not even like she was communicating with the officer like, hey, my dad is coming with my license and registration right now. I just don't happen to have it on me. That could happen like a, in, a, in, in good faith. Somebody could forget their license and registration at home. Uh, maybe they switched cars that day or something like that, or they always keep it in their purse and they forgot their purse. That type of stuff happens. But you communicate that to the officer when they tell you to get out of the car, get out of the car. Um, Failing to do so could lead to this type of behavior. And if they don't want to listen to you, then you get charged with, an, with not having your license and registration. And then when you go to court, you present your license and registration and show that you had it at the time. And there you beat the charge, you know? So all this other stuff she did was only to make things work for her, worse for herself. What's your name? Okay, well, that's another charge. It's failure to provide information to a police officer. I'm okay, so what's your name? Let's calm down. What's your name? What did I do wrong? I just told you, you committed a traffic infraction. I asked for your driver's license proof insurance. You I failed to give it to me. So failure to identify is a charge. You can be arrested for it. What did I do failure wrong? This is also a, a charge. You can be arrested Kayla, for it. Why are you arresting me? What's your last name? Well, you tell me why you're I'm detained. Go ahead and put her in the You're not detained. You're under arrest. And he's told you why you're under arrest multiple times. 
either you have a comprehension issue or you have such a severe issue with authority that you're not taking in the information. I don't know what it is. I'm asking you. Where's your ID at, ma'am? I don't have one right now. I don't have one right now. See, this whole time you're driving without a license. That's what it is. You're driving without a license and you thought that you're delaying tactics of work and they're not. Oh, there's glass in my shoe. Can we please empty it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Watch your head. Baby, if glass in your shoe is the worst that you got out of this situation, then count yourself amongst the lucky ones. Some people do less than what she did and get killed. Once again, very lucky. Some of them would be like, oh, well, you got glass in your shoe. Have a good day. And close the door on her. There's glass in my pants, too. In, in the car. It's digging in my, can I have my shoe? Ma'am, you're under arrest. Get in the car. And I cut my hand on your window. That's also a trap. So uh, something that Irish Demon pointed out, which I think is pretty obvious, is that she's very tearful and crying when she's on the phone to who to her dad or whoever it is that she's trying to get to come and intervene and rescue you. Your dad cannot rescue you from the police, honey. Uh, daddy's not going to be able to fix every single situation. But when she's in the car, in the police car, she's already under arrest, then the tears are gone. It's all very strategic, a very strategic use of her tears. But aside from that, let me just tell you guys my legal analysis of this very, very quickly. It's clear here that the officers had a lawful reason for the traffic stop. She was driving the wrong way down the road. Um, then that could have potentially been, that's a moving violation, but it could have been citation only. And in most states, they'll allow, this is Cleveland, uh, Ohio. Okay, so in most states, they're gonna allow for you to just give them the ID, issue you a citation, and then either have someone else come get the car if it's like you don't have a license or something like that, or um, impound it. There's some offenses that are arrestable, maybe driving the wrong way down the road is one of them. Whether or not she had a license, that might impact whether or not she would have ultimately been arrested. But certainly it helps the situation to go a lot smoother and to avoid charges if you comply with the lawful order. And this is coming from a defense attorney who my job is to try and get people as exonerated from these charges. The first thing I want you to do is not to get these charges in the first place. So she could have uh, avoided the obstruction charges. She could have avoided the failure to identify herself charges. The officer said, I cut my hand on the glass. I'm charging you for that too. There's no charge that's going to come out of that because that would have had to been her intentionally um, assaulting the officer or physically resisting arrest, which is not what we had here. Um, what we had was just her failure to get out of the car. Now, they do have sometimes resisting through lack of compliance charges in certain states, and I'm not sure if Ohio has that, but him reaching in and cutting his hand on the glass, I don't think would ever qualify. Ohio's resisting arrest statute says that you have to resist by force or recklessly and then cause the officer's injury by doing so. So I don't think this would qualify. That. So if he charges her for that, I don't think that she would actually be found guilty because she didn't actually assault him. He was just annoyed with her at that point in time. And I can't say that I would not be annoyed with her, but she certainly has plenty to get along with at this point. As far as charges are concerned, she's gonna be looking at some hefty fines, if not some jail time from this interaction. And it did not have to be that way had she simply complied with the officer's orders. Um, and it's not me saying that every single time the police stop you, they're doing the right thing. What I'm saying is that in this particular circumstance, this officer was doing the right thing in the traffic stop. And that even if he was doing the wrong thing, you fight that out in court with the judge, with the assistance of an attorney, you shut your mouth, you comply until you get to the end of this whole situation. So you come out of it unscathed, unharmed, without your property damaged. I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!